Hi bestie, this is a travel vlog. I'm traveling to Maryland. My mom got a new house. I called the lift. It's outside. I don't have time to explain much, but let's go. We're gonna we gon we gonna make this travel vlog work, okay? Because yeah, I'm rushing, it's chaotic, it's a lot going on, but we're gonna make it work. Stay tuned. I'm about to see the hat. Wait, turn the thing off so I don't get copyright. Okay, so we're pulling up to the new house. How are you feeling? I mean, you already seen it, but how oh are you God, feeling? They're blocking me. Oh no. Okay, oh, wait. They got two trucks. We're gonna have to walk up. Okay. Okay. Movers. <sighs> Look at that house. You can see it a little bit. We gotta walk in this heat. Oh, we're in the forest. <laughs> right, right where that truck is. Oh, five deer. Oh, well, yeah, you live in the forest now, girlie. Look at this house. Yeah, is the door open? Oh, yeah, I'm out of breath. This is the front of the house. Oh, wow. We're in the new house. Hello there. Okay, I know I've been MIA in the vlog, but y'all, it is so much like moving in. Y'all know, y'all know. It's a lot moving in and the movers are leaving now. They've been here since I got here, before I got here. Um, so the movers are leaving and I'm gonna show you guys like all the updates cause it's a lot of good updates. They're out. <laughs> y'all this is the movie room get into it okay it's just i don't even know what to say we got all these posters <laughs> and the flooring is really giving movie like oh get into it and then we have the projector here we got some we have some games over here and movies, but we have the projector here. And it's just freaking beautiful. Like, oh my goodness, get into the lights. We got lights. This is one light, two lights. And then we got like the stage lights. It's just beautiful, truly. Honestly, truly. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. 
Don't do it though. Mm. Listen. Yeah. It's good, mom. Come on, look at this one. It's good. Mommy, take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is for. Take a shot. Take a shot. I ain't gonna take a shot. That. No, take it out the bottle. Girl, are you kidding? <laughs> are you kidding me? Wow, are you folding right now? <laughs> Call it what you want. <laughs> are you folding right now? Them things and hand them to me while over here trying to what make me feel I'm just trying to no, I'm just trying to see if you're folding or not. <laughs> I'm gonna drink out my bottle. Days later, for the last few days, I have been unpacking like crazy, but I finally got to my first real project. This is the bathroom in the basement. There's actually two full bathrooms, but this is the bathroom that's connected to quote unquote my room. One thing I really don't like about this uh, bathroom is how close the freaking toilet is to the daggone shower. Like, I, I, whatever. It's, you know, it's whatever, but I don't like that. So anyway, here we go. We're starting our transformation, and I just started by clearing off everything that I have going on, and then just cleaning. Of course, me, I don't know about y'all, but when I'm moving anywhere, even if it was freshly built, I clean it because you just never know. Whose dog is barking in my hallway? Ciao. Anyway, back to the transformation. I found this at Target. So, okay, you really gonna keep barking? Like, what? <laughs> Disrespectful. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I found these at Target. So freaking cute. It definitely goes with my colorway. And it goes with the sink, too. Then I just filled up this uh, soap dispenser with Mrs. Myers. My mom really likes this brand, so... Yeah, but I, I really, really like this Target uh, set. Like, I think it's just so, 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 so cute. And you're going to see the shower curtain later because you're going to see how it goes with that. And then the rug. So I'm very proud of my choices. Call me a little interior designer or whatever. Book me um, if you want to, you know, brighten up your bathroom. So that's that. Now we're moving on to the shower. For the shower, I really wanted something with earthy tones, so you'll see that later. But of course, the first thing I got was a shower liner. This is the shower curtain. Got it from Amazon, and it's linked in my storefront. Um, it came with, like, basic uh, hooks, which was okay because, I mean, it's not that serious. But, you know, if you want to spice it up, you can get some different hooks. The shower liner was a bit longer than the shower curtain, so keep that in mind. Um, but I do think, of course better looking hooks would like top it off but i don't know if it's that quite noticeable what do you think like would you change these shower hooks or would you keep them i feel like it's okay starting out the only thing that like bothers me about how it looks is just that the shower liner is longer than the shower curtain i don't really know how that happened but i just got a basic shower liner off of amazon um but ooh, we get a sneak peek of the shower curtain like it's so cute i love it um and i y'all i looked for this for so long like days and days and days like i did i took showers without a shower curtain and rugs because i wanted to make sure i bought the one that i would genuinely like so what do we think ah so cute so 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 so, so cute you see the earth tones the burnt orange the green and just the woman on it is just really beautiful and it gives like very feminine like self-care like I am that girl vibes to me, so I just had to get it. At first, I was going to go with this rug, but then I was like, mm, like the browns might be clashing just a bit. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just go with white. And I know that white rugs are a little bit risky, but I was like, whatever. Like, I think it goes. I got these rugs from Target. I will link them in the description. And then I just end up putting the other rug right by, uh, right in front of my sink. So I like this and it goes with the bathroom set. So I think it just looks a lot better. To top off the bathroom, I got this burnt orange hand towel because it really matches the burnt orange in the uh, shower curtain. So, and, and that white trash can as well. So this is basically the end result. What do we think? This is so cute, right? Like, I don't care what y'all say. No, I really do care what y'all say, but like for real, it's so cute. And then I just got a little space for my remote for my LED lights. Y'all, these LED lights, best purchase for this bathroom, period. Y'all need them. I'm going to put them in the description there in my storefront. But yeah, here's the bathroom. 
The next project that we have is the bar and this was a little hectic only because there was kind of like so much stuff everywhere and I look crazy y'all that's why I haven't been on camera a lot like look at my hair it is sweated out show that Maryland heat that humidity ain't no joke so I just took it upon myself to organize the best way that I could we actually have a party that we're preparing for so that's essentially what I'm doing here um and yeah this bar is so cute like i think it's perfect perfect place to make drinks it has a sink an ice maker all that good stuff and you see all these bottles pull it up pull it up that's how we ball out pull it up pull it up <laughs> and then this is my favorite thing about the bar is these built-in refrigerators because it's so nice like you could store everything here of course, we got the Stella on deck. If you don't drink Stella Rosa, what are you doing? If you don't drink Stella Rosa, you probably don't like sweet wine. And I respect that. But um, yeah, here's me just filling up the fridge. And that concludes the end of the bar project. <laughs> this Hello, eight and three year old woman. Y'all see all these eights and threes? That's how. Oh, all right. Right. Uh -huh. The three but, goes before the eight. Okay. <laughs> that's the number, y'all. That's 11. That's the master number. Let's okay. okay. So we're, we're going to sing happy birthday to her. Mommy, you want to? Will you say something after? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Make your way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, just wave them out. Just wave them out. Make a wish. Oh, it's okay. It's honor. Thank you. We love you. Yay! Happy birthday! So much. We love you. We are very thankful for you. So this is when you walk into my niece's room. On the first wall, when you walk in, you have a organizer here and that's a wipe warmer. And then in here, it just has your basics, towels, bath stuff, tooth, um, toothbrush, and then just like um, safety stuff. And then that's a little boppy. And then we have a baby swing in the corner, which is really cute. And it has some blankets, all her blankets. And one has her name on it. Oh, so cute. I'm so in love. Next, we have like the learning corner. So all these books and that's a pad, a learning pad. And then there's something in the back. But most of these are just books. Some are like teaching books as you can see first words first animals and then we have like some storytelling this is a mat a learning mat and then we come over to the toy box which i love so much all these toys miss girl she loves this one <laughs> and like stuffed animals and stuff and then we have this i love this and i know it's gonna be so annoying when she starts using it but I remember using this when I was a kid, and I just feel like it's just a great little tool. Like, get into it. Like, I love it. So, I'm excited for her to start using that. And then over here is where her crib will be. So, as you can see, it's like a three-piece set. Let me move this. Well, yeah, it's a three-piece set. So, it has a crib, it has a changing table, and then it has a dresser. So, once this is put together, the room will definitely change. The crib will probably be here. And then the changing table will, no, the crib will probably be here. The dresser will probably be there. Maybe, I don't know. And then, and then the changing table may be here or the dresser might be there. And then the changing table might be there. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it would be better if the changing table was there and the crib was here or the crib was here and the dresser was there. And then the changing table was over here on this wall. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. But that's basically that side. And then of course we have the closet. Hire me, designed by me, period. <laughs> y'all know this took so much work, oh my goodness. And then when you come down here, these are like sleep bins. That's three months, six months, six to nine months, 
uh, 9 to 12, and then 12 months and up. This is hats and, like, headbands, um, bibs, and then socks and shoes. This is wipes, pampers, pampers, and what's in here? Oh, pampers. <laughs> so, yeah, she had a lot of pampers, which we're really blessed and grateful for. Um, she has so many pampers. And then what's really cool is that she has pampers for this size. So when she gets bigger, she doesn't have to buy any because she already has some. We love that. And then in here are all <clears throat> in here are all the wipes that we have. And these are the um the refills for the diaper pail. And that is in my sister's room. So yeah. Of course she had to be pinked out with the pearls. Guess who bought these? My mom. <laughs> And we saved these for, like, the really, really cute moments. So, like, look at this little dress. <laughs> ah! She's so cute. Like, oh, my gosh. So, we saved the pearls for, like, the really, you know, cute, cutesy dresses and jackets and stuff. And I organized these from 3, 6, 6 to 9, 9, 12, and 18. <sighs> so, needless to say, listen, Nova's blessed. She's very blessed, and I'm so grateful for that. Up here, we have, like, just, like, baby stuff. Um, this is, like, for car seats and for car seats. This is a um, meal time. This is a meal time tray. We already have one of these, but we might keep this one. Um, or we'll probably give it away to someone in need. And then these are just, like, toys, like, learning stuff and all this learning stuff over here. Those are some stuffed animals. Um, so yeah, this is basically her closet and that is the end of her room. Oh, that says 2012. This one says Best Buy, November 2014. This is Best Buy, April. This is Best Buy, April 2017. So, needless to say, obviously. We don't cook enough. Well, my mom doesn't cook enough. And all of those are going in the trash. And these are the seasonings that I'm actually going to fill up. Um, it's not going to be as fun as I thought, but it's okay. We're going to make it work.
I wanna give it to you, boy But there's a voice in my head that keeps telling me not to let you see Secrets hidden inside me I wanna say it to you, girl But the words in my head, they don't string together easily That's just what you do Hey, come see the pantry girl. Pantry girl. Oh, Can you see the difference? Yes, I see all the pasta. Look, here pancake mix. Pancake mix, but did you throw the paper out? Huh? Did you throw the paper out with the instructions? No. Where's the paper? Look. I see all the pasta. Noodles. I put more in this. Lasagna. Elbow. Yeah, I put elbows, elbows on top of that. Gluten free. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then oh, let's close this. Um, yeah. Look, I put drinks on here. What is this for your crystal light? That's some type of brown sugar, but I can't remember. It is, is, um, we have one that says light brown sugar and dark brown sugar. Okay. See that one? Yeah. And that should be in there. This yeah. Is <laughs> And then look, okay. we got cookies, trail mix, baby food. And then look what yeah, I did. I, I put everything with it its stands, thing. Right, so this is right. all pasta. That's peanut butter. And wow. That's oatmeal and grits. Right. This is like vinegar, syrup, and like olive oil. Mm -hmm. This is all dressing. This is like all sauce, like hot sauce and barbecue sauce. Right. This is all cake, yeah. jello type stuff. Rice, rice, and then I put the chips over here, and then yeah, I organized. Since since you aren't dropping me off at the airport, you come you. here. <laughs> Wait, let me turn the other way because the lighting is better. You come on my side. <laughs> okay, turn around. Are you paying attention? Are you listening? I'm interviewing you. Okay. So, what advice? If you had to say, give like two pieces of advice to people that are buying their first house now, hold wait on. hold on let me finish hold on. <laughs> i'm listening <laughs> you're eager okay if you had to give one piece of advice for someone that was buying their first house or building their first house what would that be my advice would be to go through your stuff before <laughs> you move so that it is not a hot mess when you get to your new place because I did not do that mm -hmm. and it is a hot mess and yeah. if it wasn't for my daughter and my cousin <laughs> and my mom 
I would not have been able, this pantry would not even look like this. So yeah. that is one piece of advice. My second piece of advice is pre-pack. Uh, mine all has to do with packing. Pre-pack as much as you can. What does pre-pack mean? Pre-pack means go to Home Depot, go to the um, U-Haul place, buy some boxes and pack them yourselves. Mm -hmm. Because my move was $10,400 and something mm. dollars. 30000 And that is out-of-pocket expense. Yeah. And if you didn't budget for that, that hit your pockets hard. Okay, give one piece of advice on the financial aspect of it. Like, because I know you used a loan, but on the financial aspect of it, like, obviously you saved enough so that you could be able to do this. And Mr. Charles, which is her boyfriend, um, they both saved enough to be able to build a house. But, like, what would you give, like, what type of advice would you give financially? Um, just to save and to um, have a budget and know what your budget is. I went over budget. <laughs> Girl, you've <laughs> been way over budget. Don't bust me out on the <laughs> I went over budget on my granite. I went over the budget on my marble. I went <laughs> because I'm bougie. <laughs> budget on my but you knew what you horse. wanted though, right? I knew what I wanted. And you and stuck with that. Pay for it. Because I did want, um, like, the tile in the um, man cave bathroom. I'm going to budget on that. Yeah. Look how beautiful it is. And yeah. That's what I wanted. So. Yeah. Just kind of stick to your budget. <laughs> <laughs> but don't compromise on what you but want. don't compromise, exactly. Because then you're going to be in here like, oh, uh, I yeah. should have got the quartz. The quartz is beautiful. Yeah. I want quartz over granite, but my bar is granite. But my island is quartz and it's yeah. beautiful and my counter my let me tell y'all something she knew what she wanted okay she was like no i don't want anything else i know what i want and i think that's really good really good advice yeah but the, as far as the money aspect yeah you can save but you're gonna have to dip into your savings mm -hmm. like for things for unexpected things like yeah. for example i was on budget billing with um smeco mm -hmm. so i was paying 250 dollars a month but my actual bill when I cut my electric off was six hundred and something dollars. So that was a you know So they gave uh, you a refund? No, 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 no. I owed six hundred and something. Wait, what do you mean? So on budget billing you pay a certain amount yeah, of money yeah. based on your electric bill and how much you use your electricity. Well, for some reason my electricity went sky high mm -hmm. and I owed six hundred and something. You have to take that from your savings. I didn't, but I will eventually. Yeah, it you're saying out of my checking account because I was on budget billing. So. Okay, so, but basically, what you're saying is that there are going to be unwanted things, like unexpected, unexpected things. Yeah. Yes, there okay. are going to be unexpected things. I can give you another example, like um, uh, propane. <laughs> I did not know that we would be using propane. We're not using gas. Propane installation, the propane to you know all of that. That was like. $2,700. Wow. Exactly. You're a boss. Listen, <laughs> it costs to be a boss. Ain't that right? That is true. Ain't that right? What do you have to say for all my baddies on a budget? Baddies on a budget. Stick to your budget. <laughs> <laughs> but don't compromise what you want. If you got to save more that month, then save more. Mm -hmm. How many Michael Kors bags have I not oh, purchased girl. because I, I was building a house? I did not shop, King. <laughs> I'm on, I'm in um shop of depression right now. I need some <laughs> retail therapy because I wasn't buying things for myself per se. I was buying stuff for the house. Yeah. And so. look at it. Look at this. Look at this beautiful result. You got this beautiful organized pantry yes. and you have other organized stuff. I'm so proud of you, mommy. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. You've worked so hard for this and... I just, I just can't express how proud of you I am, and you deserve every bit of peace, every bit of love, happiness, relaxation, and joy in this house as much as possible. Thank you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> love, you. love you. I know I'm stinky. I gotta take a shower. Go. Oh wait, did you see Nova's room? <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Look, her crib and her dresser, mm -hmm. her table. She got a little cheer. <laughs> Look at the closet. Look at the closet. Look at this. Cause her Gigi is a diva. <laughs> Turn the light on. Who has a mink? <laughs> Ooh, 
<laughs> She's gonna be fly. She stay fly. Look at all her clothes. She stay fly. <laughs> oh my goodness. You like how we turned it around? Cause y'all should have seen it earlier. It was oof. It was it was a mess, but yeah. My mom and her boyfriend recently just built a gorgeous house, so I'm gonna show you all my favorite things inside. The colors of this dish in the entryway have my heart. Next up, we have the chandelier in the dining room. It is the moment. Once you move into the kitchen, you have two other beautiful chandeliers, and what's also in the kitchen is this pot filler. The matte black just does something for me. Right next to the fridge is the pantry, and this door is just so adorable. I feel like it's a really nice touch to a personalized home. What is a pantry if it isn't organized and labeled? This was one of my favorite projects to work on while I was there, and I think that organizing your pantry is so worth it. Up next is the master bedroom's shower. So gorgeous. I love Love the tile and the sliding door is so cute i love my sister's shower the pink tile is a really cute addition in my niece's room there's this black fluffy chair it's so freaking cute and all her toys in this playpen and these pearl hangers so adorable like what clearly my mom really likes chandeliers we're now in the basement and there's a full bar with two fridges and an ice maker it's stocked and i'm here for it there's a gumball machine with nasty ass gum but then we got this popcorn machine this miss pac-man and asteroids game came a close second to being the star of the basement but not quite this brought back so much nostalgia i'm about to just go back just to play drum roll please this is the star of the basement the movie room it's so large this is a whole experience a whole vibe you can come over if you bring snacks but make sure you bring the good ones there's two full bathrooms in the basement but this is my favorite one because i designed it these led lights brought it all together let me know what your favorite part of the house is house 